What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I will show you on how to create a GitHub repository for your Unreal Engine 5 project and use Sorcery as a source control software. It's gonna be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so I also have added this video as an episode for my RPG tutorial series. So I will be using that project as an example. So the guys, the guys that you follow in that series, you can also do this video. So what is a repository and source control? For, for Unreal Engine, a Git repository is used to manage changes to the game's code, assets and configurations and have them in a version control system to track changes of files over time. So this can be also used to allow multiple people to work on the same project simultaneously without stepping on each other's toes or losing their work. It is a very convenient way of working in a team, but hey, for solo, I do recommend to also have track of everything, so social control is perfect. So the first thing that we have to do is go into GitHub and create a new account. I will be linking all in the description, so I will be linking this page over here. Now, maybe you probably already know about GitHub, and basically here is where we're gonna be storing our repository. Like for example on here, the own Unreal Engine 5 source code is stored in GitHub. So, you know, just to give you an example of the scale that this has. So go ahead and sign up. And if not, you can send, sign in if you already have an account. So then we have to go into Sorcery and download it. So this is gonna be the software they're gonna use in order to manage everything, okay? Uh, commit, push the changes, pull, uh, manage the branches, everything okay so we have to download this now github does have its own uh, software this but this one is the one that i use and it's so much more advanced and certificated so i do recommend to use source read so it's the one i'm gonna use today so go ahead and just press download to windows agree and now you can go ahead and download it all right so once you have downloaded just go ahead and open it and you will see the wizard so you have some questions over here first of all just agree to the terms service and then you will be asked if you want to create a bitbucket or atlassian account and here you want to create an Atlas atlassian account bitbucket is basically like it's on github server so you can also store your repository there but we're going to be using github so you only want to create the atlassian account which are basically the company of this uh, software over here which are also the company of trello and other known um, services so very good company over here and then you will probably be asked to install git and mercury so go ahead and select both and then install them and then after that you'll be asked if you want to create a global git file in this one say no because we will need to go ahead and create our own one uh, customized for unreal engine and then you will probably be asked again if you want to create an ssh key in here say no because it will just be a pain okay this is just a mess um basically it's just a safer um way of just managing your repository basically having a key and stuff but it's very complex and uh, for this tutorial it's not very convenient so say no and okay once you have everything set up you will probably see this so you have a new tab and then we have this options over here now you will not see all the sprites here because of course you probably haven't used it before but what we want to do is go over here into remote and then in here we will see all the accounts that we have so what you want to do already have you know set up my github over here but you want to here yeah, press here add a new account and then in hosting service instead of the bucket you want to select github okay not github enterprise or GitLab, just uh, the regular github and then you will not need to change everything here uh, leave it as https not ssh okay no just https and then the authentication make sure that it's on basic okay make sure that's on basic okay and then the, you will place the username and then the password and then you will press ok and then you'll probably be uh, logged in into your account and then you will be able to manage everything okay so what we want right now is to create a new repository so what we're going to do is go up here into the create tab and now we need to plug in a destination path now the thing is that we have to create a new empty folder if not the um, basically repository will not be able to create we cannot assign it already into our existing uh, pride which in my case will be the rpg um, so what we have to do is create a new empty folder now it's a pain but it is what we have to do and then later on copy the files of the project and move them on so yes, yeah, a pain but it's what we have to do now of course if you want to set up firstly the repository and then create from the epic games launcher um, your project into that path you can do so and you don't have to then copy and paste the files but in my case because i already have a project created we have to do that so let's go into uh, your location and what you want to do is just go ahead and create a new folder so in my case 
this folder will be the RPG underscore tutorial underscore series. And then we're going to do to basically um, differentiate it from the other one is add uh, git at the end. And I also recommend that you do so for your pride, add uh, underscore git at the end. So we know that that's the source control version. Normally I do that and I recommend doing so, but of course you can you know, do what you want. Uh, but I, yeah, I basically recommend it. So once that you have created that folder, um, with the RPG tutorial series underscore git or you found the tutorial series, it will be the same. But if you're in your own project, you have to create a new empty folder. And now we can go ahead and plug it in. Okay, then you can go ahead and put a name. So this is basically the name of the repository itself in GitHub. So in here we can do so and remove the git. And then here I'm gonna add Gorka Games uh, RPG tutorial series. Okay, and then I can remove also the underscore so it's a bit uh, cleaner. So you can, the ones that are following my RPG series, you can put exactly the same. And if you are using your own project, you can go ahead and just put it whatever name you want. Now in here, of course, we're gonna select Git, and then it is very important that we click on this create repository in an account. This will automatically create the repository on GitHub, okay? In the cloud. So this is what we want. If not, we will need to do many more things. So this will save us a lot of time. So in here, go ahead and select your GitHub account that we created earlier in the remote tab, and then uh, you will go ahead and select uh, just yourself. And then if you want, you can put a description, but you know, that's basically up to you. And then I recommend the ones that you follow my uh, tutorial series to click is, is, is private. Um, and of course, if you have your own um, project, uh, you can basically see if you want to click is private or not. This will depend. Now, normally I do recommend starting out as is private. And then as you see that uh, the project is advancing, you can create a license and then put it public and stuff later on but right now I recommend to click on private. Okay, so now that we have everything on, we can just say create and just wait a few seconds and it will be basically setting up the repository in the cloud on GitHub and also setting the files in uh, our computer. So there we go. Now we have a new tab with our project created and now we don't have anything yet. So we have to start doing some things. Let's go ahead and open our project. I know you see a dot git uh, new folder over here. Now, maybe you don't see this because I have and um, basically, um, uh, how do we say in, in English? Basically, hidden uh, elements. So, basically, this folder is like hidden. So, maybe you don't see it. If not, you can just go here and see uh, hidden elements, and now you will see it. So, if your uh, prey is properly set up, you will see this here. Okay, now we want to create the dot ignore file, which is basically just like a filter which says what files can be basically uh, committed into these servers, into our repository. Now, we don't want to basically share everything. We just want to share our blueprints, labels, etc. It's just more convenient, the things that we need. So I have basically, I just left it in the description. So you just go ahead and download it. And now we can go ahead and just paste it over here. And we open it up, you will see that it's just a text with a lot of different uh, file options, okay? So now it will be there. And now if we go into our pride and go into file status, you'll see that it will actually be detected and be added to source control. So basically all the changes that we'll make will be added here. And then on here is the ones that will be committed and then we can push them into the server, okay? So I'll explain how everything works in a second. But now what we want to do is get all our files of the uh, Unreal project, which in my case will be the RPG project, and then paste them. So let's go ahead and open the folder. And then we want to go into the other project. And I want to do is basically copy all of this. So control C and then go into the other project and now control V. So this might take a bit. Uh, I think it's 1.1 gig, so it shouldn't really take a long time. And yeah, you just want to paste it. Now I recommend copying it and pasting, not cutting it because imagine there's an error on the copying and pasting and you just, you know, <laughs> destroyed everything. So you want to be careful with this. All right, so now everything is pasted. So if we go back into the, uh, over here just wait a few seconds and now you can go into history and then file status and it will probably update or just click commit and there we go we have all the files over here and this will be basically uh, with a filter of the git ignore so we don't have like temporary files over here we just want the u assets which are the wall, the ones that we need so now what we want to do is say stage all so this is basically you're saying we want all these assets to be on these stage files which are the ones that we're going to upload so say stage all now we may have some warnings about some of the textures and stuff that hey there are more than 10 megabytes i sure do want to have them in source control 
so in our case for the RPG tutorial, you say okay. Um, for now, it's not gonna create a problem. The problem is gonna be later if we start adding a lot of things. Now, for your case, uh, that depends on you. If you want to remove them from the source control, you can. But later on, if you need to back up, you will not have those assets. So I recommend putting them. But you know that depends on you. Now you can go ahead and set up a, a large file system in your source control, so you can upload those without any problem. But that is way more advanced, so I'm not covering that tutorial. Anyway, so now you'll probably need to wait a few seconds, maybe even minutes. So you just leave it there, okay? Just wait a few seconds and we'll basically get back into it okay and now all the files will be staged so there we go and now what we want to do is basically commit it so we want to put a note over here and this is going to be initial comment okay basically um the first comment to initialize the repository okay so that's what we want to do and now what we want to do is put on here all the things that we have up to now so in my case you know for the uh for the ones for the rpg series i just have locomotion and basically we have uh vaulting we have assassinations um and well and we have a few more things like crouching uh leaning and and so on but hey i'm gonna say just and more it doesn't really matter okay this is just a note of and you always have to put whatever you do now you do what you want and you put the deal to the detail that you want to make here in my case for this is okay now let's just basically uncheck this for now leave it as default and now we can say commit so we just want to wait a few seconds and basically now we will have them as a comment which is basically imagine that it's just a little plane okay which is right now set in the sky in order to basically be um transported whatever we want okay it's I just made an awful description but imagine it's like a small plane so right now we have this plane on our uh, local um, desktop okay so we have basically a version of our project right now in the files of our machine but we want to basically export this into our server because right now if i enter in my github repository and i go into repositories you will see that we have the rpg tutorial series that we created when we uh, created with the sorcery but when i enter you will see that we don't have anything see we don't have anything okay so what we want to do is upload it to the servers so what we want to do is press this push button okay so push will be sending it into the repository in github and pulling will be basically if another team um member made another commit um it uploaded to the servers we need to download their changes so push and pull they're pretty self-explanatory so we want to push it and now we want to select the master branch into the origin and then there we go and then select all push all tags track there we go as default pretty much and you say push and we'll just upload all this into our repository so let's go ahead and just wait a few seconds this might again take a few seconds or minutes depending on how much uh, you are going ahead and pushing all right so i just basically um pushed it and now it is done so if i go into my uh comment over here my repository sorry in github you will see that if i refresh it i have everything with my initial comment locomotion to the dump and in content i have everything let's go so so cool so you can do exactly the same with your project so basically every time that you make a change you go over here and go into comment go and uh, stage all of your things and then basically put a note commit it and then push it into the server and great you will have your history over here and there we go and later on you know i will not show this here but you can create multiple branches so for example let's say that you're gonna make a big change on the game and you're gonna add multiplayer so to not break everything you can create a separate branch and then make all your changes here and if it ends good you basically uh, merge it but if it ends bad the multiplayer thing you go ahead and go back into master and you have everything like you had before so it is very very powerful so yeah so if you found it so helpful i would really appreciate you go like the video and subscribe to my channel i have lots of unreal engine 5 tutorials so if you want to go ahead and check them out go ahead uh, join my discord server so you can ask any question and show your work and so on and follow me on all my socials such as twitter and instagram and now yes we've all said bye bye